as something that I wasn't afraid of. We, we went on and we learnt to do such things as photograph reading. Has anybody in the audience here heard of photograph reading? I know that somebody should because it's one of my past students. Okay. <laughs> What photograph reading is, photograph is reading is actually looking at the image in the photograph. See, every time we photograph an animal, a plant, an object, we actually <clears throat> photograph that energy of that animal, that plant, and that object. Or in the course of that person as well. It works the same way. <coughs> but what we're photographing is that person or that animal or that plant actually photographing their energy, the aura that is there, if you like. And that trained psychic is quite capable of reading that aura, that energy that's there. And when a lot of people come for readings, they want to know, know about their, their loved ones or the man that, they, that, that they've just met sort of thing. They often bring a photograph with them. But what's also interesting is that when we start getting into the police using psychics, the police actually will give that, that professional psychic a photograph of the victim or the person that they want information about. There was a TV show a few years ago called Sensing Murder. Has anybody heard of Sensing Murder or used to watch Sensing Murder? What they used to do was pass the photographs to the four psychics they had working with them. The thing is that when it comes to photograph reading, it's an individual thing. 